and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making some charms out of pasta. Some resin charms out of pasta. I've got hold of this zoo pasta and it's all different sorts of little animals. You've got turtles, you've got giraffe, you've got little tiny elephant. He's so cute. You've got, I'm not sure what that one is. I'm still not sure what that one is. Oh, I think it's a tiger. You've got a lion or a tiger. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be turning these into charms. Some I'm going to paint and put in the resin and some I'm going to leave natural or nude and put them in this resin and then turn them into some little charms, fill them up with different colours and see how it goes. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and ring that notification bell. Because that way you'll get a notification when my new videos come out. I'll also provide all the links to everything that I used today. And of course, I am going to be using some glitter because I feel a bit, a bit glitter deprived recently in this project. So stick around and see how I get on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint up and see how well the pasta paints of these bits. So what I've done is I've done five here. I've got one white one in there uh, that are going to be painted. These are five of the white ones to see what they look like. And these are five of the dark ones to see what they look like. And I'm going to be using the Arteza Fancy Black, which is an iridescent paint. I love it. It's nice and sparkly and it gives a lovely iridescent colour. And I don't think that it's there's going to be any problem with painting pasta because it is very dry after all. I'm just going to go over it with my brush and give it a paint and I will paint the insides as well and all the edges. So I'll go ahead, paint these and then I'll come back when I'm ready to do my first pour on them. So I've mixed up all my resin now and it's ready to put into the moulds. I wish I'd left it about five more minutes just to degas but I was a little bit impatient. I wanted to get on with this project. And I'm only filling these moulds about a quarter full to leave space for the pasta shapes to go in. I just want to say a quick thank you to all my members of this channel. If you'd like to become a member and benefit from all the perks that are available to members, then check out the link in the description below. So I'm popping in the pasta. And I'm not pushing it down, I'm just really letting it settle to where it is. Now this is quite a thick resin, I'm using resin colour crafting resin and it's ideal for this project. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for my videos and help really support this channel, it's a really big help and get your name on my buy me a coffee board for April, then the link for that is also in the description. Okay, so I'm nearly finished putting all these in and what I will do is I will just go around and adjust them to ensure they're all in the right position, then pop any bubbles that have come up and leave this to cure for 24 hours. So these have all cured up now and all I need to do is add my colours that I'm going to use inside of the little pasta shapes. Let that cure up and then I'll put a clear over the top and then we'll come back to it. I'll show you quickly how I add the colours and apparently this one here is a kangaroo. I don't really think it looks like a kangaroo but it's a kangaroo but the other ones are quite recognisable. <laughs> so this is all cured up now and ready to get my colours in and I'm using a variety of colours glitter and mica powder and it's up to you what you want to use for this check out my other channel i'll put the link above in one of the cards all you need to do is click on that and it's me crafting i've just made a harry potter chest out of an old cardboard box which come out really well so now i've got it all mixed up what i'm using is a blunt nose needle to pop the resin into the little parts of the pasta and this is a little bit fiddly but it's worth doing and it really does make it come out well. I love the elephants. I think they are my favourite ones out of the, this pasta shapes. And they really do come out beautiful, which you'll see at the end of the video. So delicately put this in. If you do, I have this tremor, as you know. And if I, I did get some bits of resin onto the cured resin, clear resin. And I just went in with a cotton bud and cleaned that off to avoid that contaminating what I've got. So I'm going through, dipping it in and just filling up the shapes where I want the actual colour and leaving the outside clear. So I hope you're all okay. Look, I'm not on my own today. I've got my little daisy girl sitting here with me while I do this voiceover. I love it. 
I love having my little fur babies with me. So I'm just again filling this up, making sure I've got it in all the places that I need it and that there's no trap bubbles anywhere in this piece of resin. It's all cured up now and I let it cure completely solid and what I'm doing now is I'm just covering up with the same clear resin to allow me to finish them off. I'm popping the bubbles using my long neck glider. Remember, never a torch on silicon molds. The torch burns far too hot and will adhere the resin to the mold. So going over it, popping the bubbles, I'll leave it again for five minutes and then I will pop the bubbles again, leave this to cure up overnight before I demold it and then demold it. And that's what's coming up now. <laughs> They've come out so cute. I think the glittery elephant there might be my favourite one. I think the glittery elephant has come out really, really well. I love this person. Oh, look, there's a fingerprint in that one. The kangaroo. Not that I can see that it looks like a kangaroo. And the little lion. Oh, I definitely think the elephant is my favourite one. Even with the mica power, although the turtle's quite nice. He's come out quite nice too. So, these are all finished now. I absolutely love them. I think they'll turn into great little charms. All you need to do is put some findings on them, either make them into key rings or into uh, necklaces or whatever you want to make them into, really. I do love them. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And ring that bell. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee or become a member, then the links are in the description below, along with links to everything that I've used today. Thank you very much. Enjoy your resin. Take care. Bye.